So I don't want to keep beating the Kerbal Space Program situation like a dead horse, but I also kind of do. And that's why today's video is going to be all about uh, two specific Reddit posts I found that I just found super interesting. The first one is, can we all try to speculate why on earth Take 2 acquired this IP? This IP being Kerbal Space Program. And then the other one is uh, $50 for an early access, which looks like it may be abandoned in just over a year since release. So I just love reading these comments. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. Uh, glutton for punishment, I guess. But this one I found really interesting to me. It's can we all try and speculate why they acquired? It's true. It, it does boggle the mind. So I mean, the most uh, to me the most obvious thing that happened with this whole Kerbal Space Program two situation was that th something went wrong in develop. Clearly, something went wrong in development. I don't know what. I don't know where, I don't know if they ran into like crazy issues where they couldn't even make like things that were basically the same in Kerbal Space Program 1, but something clearly went wrong in development to the point where like this thing, like the trailer was released five years ago, which is crazy, right? For the trailer to be released five years ago, and then we got like a, a random announcement of early access. I mean, clearly something went wrong, right? We can all agree something went wrong. In the whole Kerbal Space Program 2 uh, situation. So, so, I mean, the real answer to this is, you know, let's just read this post first. Okay, let's just go into this. Um, you know, there's, there must be an executive who got excited about it. Their kids' childhood education, their fans, right? It is true when you think about it. Like, it's such a niche game, Kerbal Space Program. I mean, for me, I remember when I first played the Kerbal Space Program, I think it was in early... It definitely was in early access mode. Like, original. And... I bounced off the game like immediately. Like I like I loaded it up. I built a rocket. You know, I was flying around Earth, which is awesome. But then the second, you know, I had to get into orbit or beyond, I just boom, bounced right off the game. I didn't play it for another, I don't know, year or so. Um, and it was only until I found Scott Manley's uh tutorials. Right now there's so many tutorials, but back then Scott Manley's tutorials were like you know, they were like forty five minutes long on how to make how to get in orbit. And just by watching those alone. You're like, oh my gosh, I understand orbital mechanics now. Um, but that's like the kind of game Kerbal Space Program was. Like, it was like, I, yeah, no, you literally need to understand her, um, orbital mechanics to even play the game. Otherwise, you just, like, there's no, there's no tutorial. There was nothing. There's, there's nothing that tells you, like, what to do. You know, it's just, it was literally like a sandbox of flying spaceships. Um, and that's what it was. And it was great. And that's why, you know, it has this community of like these hardcore people who love this game because to them, um, you know, it's just, it's so, I don't know what the word for it is, but you know, that graph when they show, um, how hard things are and like that sort of thing, it's kind of like, like it's way up there. Like the, just to get into the, just to play the, the game, you got to have so much knowledge that you need to acquire from a, a, another place that the game doesn't give you. That's why I developed this hardcore audience, right? And then when, once you have that knowledge and you start going to like this planet, that planet, you know, multi-planetal trips, whatever you want to call it, that's when the feeling of accomplishment was insane. And that's why Kerbal Space Program, to me, uh, was such a wild game and had such um, a great fan base. You know, because, it, you know, it, it's like that Dark Souls style of a game where... It's so impossibly hard, but once it clicks, it's not impossibly hard anymore. And then you get it, and then it becomes insanely fun. That's the kind of game it is. You know, like, uh, shout out to uh, one of my buddies who plays, uh, what is it? It's any random strategy game, uh, Crusader Kings. He's like 8,000 hours in that. I mean, to me, that's another game like that where, like, you need to come into that with exterior knowledge. Anyways, so this guy's basically asking, sorry, this is a long intro, but this guy's basically asking, why did they why on earth did they take two which is like a giant company they own you know so many franchises including grand theft auto why did they buy kerbal space program a random indie game with such a hardcore game design anyway this guy says really simple kerbal space program one sold five million copies which with a budget that's either below seven digits or barely above uh this guy says probably a three four million range all said and done 
but not a lot compared to how well it sold and how much money it made for the first squad marketing company and then take two after they bought it. That's a huge reason why they bought it. The other being they thought they could use the Kerbals as mascots for their own games. I would love to know if that is actually a reason. Let me know in the comments if you know they actually wanted to use um, the Kerbals because that's kind of weird. To me, that's strange. Uh, okay, here's another answer. This is why. It's the same reason Amaze Entertainment grabbed the Harry Potter IP in the early 2000s. Sure, a bunch of us were Harry Potter fans. The real reason was money. Uh, that first Harry Potter PC game made tons of money for Amaze, WB, and Epic Games. Uh, all those companies were successful because of that IP. So every game company is looking for an IP that is more or less a money crank. I mean, to me, again... Like, yes, it's sold, sold, caught, maybe, you know, maybe they did buy it and they thought, you know, if we can, you know, to this guy's point, let's just say this is the answer, right? Maybe they did buy it and they thought if we can make this appealing to the masses by adding, you know, tutorials or easier, maybe automated, you know, orbital processes, anything like that, right? If we can bring this game to the masses and throw our like bazillion dollar marketing monstrosity of a machine behind it. Maybe it can be massively successful compared to Kerbal one and sell way more copies, but still relative, you know, if it's the same team that's making it or whatever, so real, I know it wasn't cause they got, they all got fired when uh, the whole thing went down or a lot of them did, but you know what I mean? Like, I can't see them, that I can see, but I can't see them being like, you know, we need these Kerbals to be in other games. To me, that's, I mean, again, this is the Kerbal Space Program Reddit, so people are like very, uh, <coughs> people are very particular about their Kerbal, and they think, I think it's a bigger IP than they think it is. You know what I mean? Um, here we go. They thought they could turn and burn an IP, and if they even put a little effort into it, they probably could have. To be honest, KSP with update graphics plus a couple mod features should have been relatively low effort. It's so true. It's funny how games that come out, I mean, this is a side tangent, but games, you know, that are sequels of games that have been around forever. Like, let's say when uh, the new Elder Scrolls comes out, everyone's going to, they're not going to compare it to the original Skyrim. They're going to compare it to... Skyrim with you know running all 150 insane mods that adds this and that and the graphics blah, 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 right and I think that's the problem with Kerbal Space Program 2 is a bit like Kerbal Space Program 2 was not compared to Kerbal Space Program 1 especially launching early access right Kerbal Space Program 2 was not compared to Kerbal Space Program 1 it was compared to Kerbal Space Program 1 you know with all the mods, with all the crazy the parallax mods, you know, all these graphical updates, all this stuff. So, like, when Kerbal Space Program 2 came out, the graphic updates weren't like, whoa! No, it was like, okay, wow, this is like, we've already have this, right? What what new what what new thing are you bringing to the table? And the answer was literally not a single item. You know, literally that was the answer. Nothing new. Promises of crazy, amazing things like interstellar travel and all that, but nothing new. Let's keep going down. Take Two makes way more IPs than Two. They own Fraxis, which makes Civilization, Sports Label, Rockstar, XCOM. I mean, XCOM's whatever at this point. I wasn't a big XCOM 2 guy. I like the first one, the second one. I don't know. Uh, Borderlands, Bioshock, on and on and on. Okay, that's interesting. A loyal, dedicated fan base is like lightning in a bottle. I doubt T2 is the only big publisher making offers. Uh, let's see. GTA, yeah, we know. We, all those games. Baseballs 2, the search for more money. <laughs> uh, good stuff there. Take 2 is largely not at fault and poured millions of dollars. See, that's what I think. Want to know the uncomfortable truth? Yeah. It, 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 this is exactly what I think. You know who's to blame? Nate Simpson, Intercept Games, who took time and money completely pissed it away. This is the unfortunate truth that so many people... That's I know. It is. It's true. Seven years they've started on this game since 2017. I think that's what happened. Like I said at the start of this video, I think what happened was the development went wrong. Things are going bad. They needed to recoup funds, which is why they did the early access thing. And then, you know, shortly after that, just 
things were not i don't think you know things weren't ready like nothing was nothing's working nothing's ready they released that science update and it was like i mean how ridiculous that they released this science update and everyone was like yeah the kerbal's back yeah like no kerbal's back we did it yeah and it's like it's like dudes they literally released a mode that was available for you know like over like whatever 10 years uh, in Kerbal 1 like how is this this to me is insane <laughs> it's insane and everyone got happy and i think that was just the uh hopium the copium of of dealing with you know the sad reality that this thing is slowly dying anyway it's kind of like that uh uh what's that game starfield they just they just released an update and it's like we have we have the ability to have points on our map. It's like, dude, what? Like, how is this an update? Like, what is going on in the gaming world? What's happening? What's happening with these games? Well, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I don't know if I did an intro on Much Adventure here. If you don't know me, uh, I do a lot of space gaming stuff and a lot of uh, sandbox stuff. Um, and I talk space news the odd time. And sometimes I just talk about things like this. Uh, and if you like this video... Throw me a subscribe and uh, we'll keep doing it and have a great and also a like like button. Also, if you guys notice, if you haven't noticed, if you're on a computer right now, this is kind of cool. I just noticed this like a while ago. Somebody told me and it should work. But apparently every time I say subscribe, the subscribe button like, you know, lights up. So I'm gonna, you got to be on a computer, I think. I don't know if phone works. Phone might work, but I think you, you can't already be subscribed to. So anyways, uh, Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. What do you think about the whole situation? We didn't actually get into this article, but it's the same thing. It's basically just lamenting. These guys are just sad, right? Oh, uh, jeez. I can't believe... I'm, I'm so... I, I can't believe that I repurchased the game. You know, there was like that Steam uh, spring sale, and I was like, you know what? After the science update, like just like everybody else, this is a, it's a complete moron. You know what? Maybe I will. Maybe I will purchase Kerbal. Maybe it. Maybe it is saved. No, it's not. And now I just literally blew fifty bucks. And now I got my refund the first time, even though I went over three hours. I haven't asked for a refund again. I don't. I don't know. Anyways, have a great day, guys.